just off the south coast of Florida, the ocean floor is home to a complex and diverse ecosystem. In this underwater jungle of dense coral, a delicate web of life flourishes. This is the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary, a protected stretch of ocean covering 2,000 square miles. In recent years, however, a small but voracious predator arrived here, the invasive Indo-Pacific lionfish, a fish that, though popular in home aquariums, threatens the natural balance of life in these waters. The Indo-Pacific lionfish is a perfect invader in the Atlantic. It has no natural predators. It reproduces very quickly, pretty much eats anything indiscriminately. With an invasive fish, they are competing with our native fish for critical resources such as food, space, those sorts of things. They've established a breeding population. It started off of North Carolina and they've spread south uh, all throughout the Caribbean and now they're working their way into the Gulf of Mexico. As a step to control the lionfish invasion here in South Florida, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is taking an unusual step issuing permits for divers to collect large numbers of lionfish. The first lionfish in the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary was spotted in January of 2009, and slowly but surely, we've seen increasing numbers. They are starting to appear more frequently and at higher densities. See all these spikes up here? No, no, no. Today, these divers are out to do their part, participating in a lionfish derby one-day competition where participants are allowed to collect as many lionfish as they can during daylight hours. You guys ever dove down here? Yep. We started in 2010 with lionfish derbies in the Florida Keys, and we have three each year, and the purpose of the derbies is mostly to have all of our you know, constituents go out into the resource and help us control the lionfish population. Everyone who likes to use the reef, you know, they go to their numbers for lobster season and for, you know, just pleasure dives and snorkeling and everything else. And over the last two years, they've all come to us and said, hey, we're seeing a lot of lionfish out at our favorite spots. We're trying to get them to go back out to those locations where they've seen those lionfish before and then collect them, whether that's with a net or in certain areas of the sanctuary you're allowed to spearfish. This is number eight derby for us. Yeah, we started seeing this happening a couple of years back, traveling throughout the Caribbean. It's a very real problem and uh, we're doing our best to try to control it on local levels. We're leading the charge, I, I think. Prizes are given for most lionfish caught, largest and smallest. All right, this is uh, 265. Some specimens are dissected for research and others will be served for dinner. Lionfish are quite tasty if prepared correctly. Isn't that a fishy taste? I think good. it's really oh, good. They must, however, be handled with special care. Lionfish are not poisonous, they are venomous. Their dorsal fins and their anal fins have skin around them that is toxic, more or less. It's venomous. So that's why you really want to be careful when you're handling these guys. <laughs> Researchers from around the country attend these derbies to gather data on the population to better predict the overall impact of growing lionfish numbers throughout the Keys. I'm interested in knowing what the, what the lionfish are eating. So what we're doing is pulling the stomachs out of the lionfish. We'll take them back to Gainesville at our laboratory and then I'll go through them under a microscope and be able to identify what, what they're eating out on the reef. Because lionfish reproduce year round and produce thousands of eggs at a time, the species is extremely prolific. And since 2009, thousands of lionfish have been removed from the ecosystem thanks to these derbies. This is not, however, the solution to the problem. The purpose of these types of derbies is to control numbers and get an idea of where uh, and how many are out there. 